Unless you've been living in a barn somewhere, you've probably noticed that flip resets have really taken the Rocket League community by storm over the past year. Squishy passes to himself. He gets flip it. reset. Can he do it? Squishy moves. Does it go in? Torment finishes it off. What a play from Squishy and Cloud9. From really efficient, powerful, difficult to defend flip reset shots to, you know, whatever this is. Yeah. I'll say this, if Gainer or anybody else, but you know, it'll probably be Gainer, could get to, you know, a 10 flip reset goal, so whatever that would be, I'll do a crate opening video. Don't worry, that crate opening video will be coming soon. So in honor of the first ever DECA flip reset goal, something that I'm sure, you know, many of us thought was impossible a year ago, I want to give you guys some tips on how to hit flip resets more consistently and also show you the different types of flip resets that exist out there, or at least the ones that I know of, and sort of give you a foundation of things to work on if you're interested in learning this mechanic. Because it is a really important mechanic. I remember talking to Verge about this at our LCS as, you know, Cloud9 was really showing that flip resets are a valuable mechanic, even at the highest level, and that there was just a lot of pros who weren't really learning this mechanic, even though it's one of the best options when you take the ball up and you go for a solo play in the air. So I know a lot of you guys won't really, you know, be at the level to be able to practice this and maybe you should learn other things but keep it in the back of your mind that this is probably going to be a part of the meta even at the highest level probably starting this season we're going to start seeing a lot more flip reset goals so i put out a video a while back about flip resets and i did something that i really don't feel the need to do anymore which was basically i made a video explaining something that i hadn't truly mastered like i'd spent some time doing it and i'd hit like one flip reset goal but i really didn't have the car control to do it very consistently and i hadn't put in the hours and hours and hours like I have now working at it and I'm sure I'll probably look back at this video in six months and I'll probably laugh at my attempts to hit flip resets now but you know that's kind of beside the point from my perspective I have really worked at this a lot in the last like three weeks and I've gotten so much better at it and I think I have some things that I can share with you guys so from my perspective there are three types of flip resets that you can hit there's the flip reset shot the flip reset flick and the flip reset stall or you know the multiple flip resets sort of strung together with that last one being the most difficult mechanically by a long shot. I'd say that there are really only a handful of people in the world that can actually string together multiple flip reset stalls consistently. And you know, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not one of those people. I have spent a fair amount of time working on it. It's kind of what I'm working on now that I've got the flip reset flicks down and you know, the other flip reset shot. But yeah, it's going to be a while before I master that one. So let's start with the classic flip reset shot. Now, as you probably know, the way you actually get a flip reset is by touching all four wheels on the ball and then that gives you a dodge and in this case you use that dodge to hit the ball again just try to hit like a nice power shot now it's not what most people want to hear but honestly getting a solid flip reset consistently like getting to where you can do this over and over again is really about feel and that comes from doing it over and over and over again so I wanted to get a cool flip reset for a video not that long ago I think this was like two weeks ago and I literally spent like two hours doing this while my kids were sleeping I didn't even realize that the time was passing that quickly and I spent their entire nap time just working on this and it was actually kind of therapeutic except for the way that my hands started like cramping up at the end that was kind of awful but it really wasn't until I had put in that two-hour session that I started actually hitting these in game consistently like I think that night my brother and I played and I hit like one of my best flip resets ever and really my only solid flip reset that I'd ever hit in the game so one thing I did discover in doing this though is that it's actually easier to let the ball sort of start its descent before getting the reset it's you know much harder to get a reset while the ball is going up or when it's at its peak but when it's coming down a bit especially at the start of the descent that's the perfect time to get a reset for this shot and also for the flip reset flick which we'll look at in a bit and another thing that I noticed was that I wasn't implementing air roll in my approach to the ball I was too focused on getting the timing down that I wasn't really paying attention to how I was air rolling my car into the ball at impact now this is gonna be how you you get that control to hit powerful flip reset shots. You have to implement air rolling into your shots so that you position yourself in such a way that you can actually hit the ball with some power. But more important than any of this though, you just have to go put in the time. You have to do it over and over and over again before you can start hitting them even somewhat consistently. And it's really like any other mechanic. It feels impossible the first 50 or 100 tries, but after a while it starts to click. So for this, patience is really the key. If you keep grinding, you keep trying to do it, you'll get it down. And in the meantime, while you know you're screwing
doing it up over and over again, you are gaining better car control and ball control, so it's worth doing. The second type of flip reset is the flip reset flick. Now, this is actually one of my favorites, because it's made for some pretty crazy shots. Now, remember, as I talk about these different types, obviously these different types of flip reset shots can be used to do lots of other things. It's not just these three simple shots, but these types of shots are really the base of all those other things that you can do with a flip reset. So you sort of have to learn these three foundational things if you want to do those other crazy shots. Now, this is actually my favorite kind of flip reset at the moment. There's just something about it that is so satisfying. Like when you successfully get a flip reset and you just dodge immediately into the ball, you can put an insane amount of speed on it. The key to this mechanic is timing your dodge so that you dodge immediately after getting the flip reset. And this is actually the shot where you really have to wait and let the ball begin to fall. You almost have to sort of match your car's momentum to the ball's downward momentum and you don't want your car to just be slamming into the ball. It sort of has to float with the ball and then right when you get that flip reset, right when the ball touches the car, all four wheels, you just dodge it upwards really quickly. Now this takes a lot of finesse and a lot of touch. I would say that flip resets are to Rocket League kind of like putting is to golf. It just takes a lot of finesse and a lot of care, I guess. I don't know. So really try to wait on the ball a bit on these. If the ball's high up in the air, you'll just flick it straight upwards anyways, so that's pretty much pointless. You have to let the ball start to fall and then dodge as fast as you can after you get that flip reset. All right, the last type of flip reset is something I'm currently trying to master. Before you go and try this in the air and you know try to get multiple flip resets you have to get to where you can consistently stall your car there's no point in trying it in the air if you haven't gotten this mechanic down so practice practice like crazy until you can get nine or ten or even 20 stalls in a row just on the ground and then take your mechanic to the air in case you didn't know a stall is basically a mechanic where you tornado spin and then dodge while tornado spinning but to stall like this on command you have to do it all at one time so you basically tornado spin one way and then dodge in the middle of that tornado spin really quickly so you can do just like a simple air roll so that you've got your you know reset and your cars under the ball and then you just stall under the ball to get another and another and this cycle just keeps going but first you have to master the stall and there's quite a few different tutorials out there on how to stall so just check those out also I should say if you're trying to master this just go watch someone like Gainer and see how he does it really try to get a feel for his timing for example I noticed that on this flip reset you actually have to hit the ball right away like you can't just wait until the ball is falling unlike the other flip resets I mean you can to some extent but it's much harder if the ball is floating down so it's better if it's like floating upwards or you get it at its peak but give it a try you know if you guys are able to do this tag me on Twitter and I'll retweet it if I see it but as lame as it is for many of you I know a lot of you guys want to hear some secret to doing this hitting flip resets is really about getting a few good long sessions where you really get a feel for the timing now if you're a newer player like I said or you just feel like this is way beyond you maybe you should do something else or work on some other mechanic but this is all true of any mechanic you have to just put in the time. But remember, Gainer was like a diamond player when he started obsessively hitting flip resets and working on it for like five hours a day. So doing these weird little mechanics is the way that you take your mechanics to the next level. So whether it's hitting double touches, whatever it is, it's all about putting in the time. And that's really what sets apart the mechanical gods of Rocket League. All right, let us know down below if you have any questions about this mechanic or if you have any thoughts that I missed. Also, if you're really interested in taking your game to the next level, I would recommend hiring a coach on Gamers Ready. Gamers Ready is a platform that I started and we launched back in October. I know a lot of you have already gotten coaching sessions through that so maybe you could you know inform us in the comments if it was a good experience what you thought of it but a lot of players have already found it super helpful to just get in there with a coach somebody who has way more experience somebody who really understands the game better than they do and have them assess their game and really give them a personal sort of evaluation and kind of a path forward as to how they can improve. So if you're interested in that I've got a link in the description below you can check that out. Keep grinding guys and we'll see you next time. Peace out.